Yo guys, how are you all? Um, this video is about sharing to you all the tips and tricks that um, I personally um, encountered and would want to share to all of you, hoping that it will also help each one of you as you do the actual step and session, whether you're walking, you're jogging, or you're running. So I'll be giving you 10 tips that I personally uh, learned through time, and hopefully you can get something out of this. So number one is obviously you need to fully charge your phone. You don't want to start your session and realize that you need to go back home and obviously you're interrupted, your phone died. I'm not even sure if you will recover your energy because your phone suddenly died. Now, worst comes to worst and you, you forgot, you need to um, bring with you a um, power bank so that your phone is charging while you are on the go. But again, I highly recommend to at least have your um, phone charge 75% minimum because um, as you know, it's using GPS. It's very intensive on the battery of the phone. So that's tip number one. Number two. This one, um, I only tried once, so I cannot fully conclude, but uh, I heard a lot of users are saying that you can earn more if you do four times a day. As you, as you should know by now, if you're a user, that there's four fixed refill time of energy. So, for example, on my case, um, um, a quarter uh, of my energy refills every uh, 5 a.m., 11 a.m., 5 p.m., and 11 p.m. And the reason why, why, why I'm not doing this, because obviously I'm, I'm already in bed by 11 p.m., and I'm still asleep at um, 5 a.m. So in short, I can only do possibly um, my walking between 8, 8 a.m. to, let's say, 9 p.m., so around that time. So... I cannot, um, I cannot do four times per day. But then again, uh, I had a lot of um, other users saying that if you do this four times, you will earn more. So it's up to you because for me, um, sleep is also important. So I can't sacrifice staying up really late at 11 p.m. and do a five-minute walk and at the same time wake, wake up at, after 5 a.m. and do a five-minute walk. So... And, but again, there's an option there just in case your time allows you to do so. Tip number three, um, a lot of people um, neglect and uh, underestimate the importance of stretching your feet, your legs before and also after the session. Um, especially those who are running, it's very intensive on the feet. So make sure to do that proper stretching. What I do personally, because I just walk, um, I spent a few minutes doing the um, uh, slow walk first. And then once I feel that I'm already warmed up, that's when I start the app. And same thing when I'm finished. I don't just like stop and then that's it. I still do um extra few minutes again to slowly walk down. And then when I arrive home, I do the proper stretching of the uh, legs. So don't forget to stretch before and after. Um, tip number four. Okay, this is also important. You need to know the best route for your uh, movement. Um, one thing what, that we don't like is you keep going to the route where you need to keep stopping. Like, for example, it's a busy street or in the city where you need to cross different street and then you need to stop in between the traffic lights. Obviously, that will affect your speed because you will need to keep looking at your phone and make a pause, press the pause and then resume. So, yes, it's, it's, it will definitely affect your um, earning potential because you keep stopping so for me, usually my route is um, I make sure that I have a ro route that I just keep left, 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 and this is uh, less uh, busy street where I can uh, cross the road without stopping. Obviously, our, our priority here is safety. So you should know your neighborhood well. That's why usually the, the runners, the joggers, they go in um, field tracks 
because they don't want to, you know, go to those busy streets to keep stopping and going. And as well, it will end, again it interrupt your um, your uh, time. And the other um, one that I want you to check is, you know, the downhill slopes. It would be better to, you know, keep going down. And then once you're about to end, then that's the time you keep coming back to maximize your speed. So you should know your neighborhood well. So make sure to plan which route will you go through. Tip number five, um, set an alarm. Sorry, wrong spelling. Um, what do I mean by set an alarm? Because me personally, I, I uh, use my full for energy, which means that's equivalent to 20 minutes. Um, if you don't know how to um, calculate your energy, it's by the number of shoes that you own, starting with one or two, you have three, and then three, three shoes up to eight shoes, you have four, and then nine shoes up to, I forgot, but it's in the white paper. I also did another video about that. So what I do is, um, uh, before I start, I check, let's say I, I stepped out of the house at 5 p.m. I will do a, uh, I, I will do a uh, warm up of two minutes and then I will end maybe around two minutes after the 20 minutes time. So I make sure that I set an alarm so that I don't need to keep checking my phone. So the reason for that is each time that you check on your phone, it will slow you down. You thought you're still walking and doing the multitask, but you don't know that you're slowing down. And this is one of the reasons why may, maybe a lot of you um, notice that every single day you don't get the same um, GST or earning. Some days it's less, some days are okay, some days there are more. Maybe because again, the speed is one of the big factors for the GST calculation. So what I do is I set an alarm so that I know that when the, when the alarm beeps, it means I can stop and rest, right? And then I can check my phone and turn it off. So that's one of the techniques that I always do before I go out. Next tip, number six, proper gears. As you know, in each country, wherever you are, there will be rainy days. For us, maybe there will be winter, autumn, and for some countries, uh, very hot. So you need to be prepared with what you will wear when you go out. Let's say, for example, uh, it had happened to me a couple of times already, raining. I have with me a raincoat, a uh, boots, umbrella, and the um, phone protector. So uh, it will not get wet, okay? And for regular days, I just have the um, sling ba uh, um, belt bag. Uh, the belt bag is, uh, is great because it doesn't hinder you from walking fast. And at the same time, you can freely move your hand. Some runners use armband. So those are the gears that you need to prepare based on the current conditions. Say winter, obviously, we need more beanies as well and thicker um, clothes. Maybe for um, countries that are hot, obviously you want some cap and decent sunny, something like that. So please make sure to um, wear the proper gear so it won't also interrupt your movement while you already use the app. Tip number seven, GPS check. Um, uh, although maybe you're thinking you're going to the same route all the time, but it's still worth checking the GPS uh, during the first 10 to 15 seconds of your walk, especially if you're in a city area where there's a lot of buildings and it may interfere with your GPS, or if you're in covered um, ports or there are a lot of bushes or something. So there's a lot of um, um, parameters that can hinder or interfere with your GPS. So I still keep checking for the first 15 seconds only. And if I see that the three green bars are solid, then that's it, put in the bag and just wait for the alarm to turn off. Tip number eight, um, I usually turn off the Wi-Fi in my phone mainly because sometimes let's say you're in an area where there's a lot of cafes and there's a lot of people uh, with their Wi-Fi on. So 
your phone will usually look for those. It will connect automatically, right, with free Wi-Fi and stuff. So I think that also, I'm not 100% sure, but that also interferes with the connection of your phone to the GPS. Um, I heard uh, some um, errors before. I don't know if this is related to this. Like um, they see some errors and they don't know why. So they end up stopping and post the uh, app. So for me, it's just better to turn off the Wi-Fi and turn on the data on your phone. Tip number nine, um, if you can, if there's a feature in your phone where you can divert, where you can divert the, the calling while you're on the go, it would be better because obviously if someone rings you, then uh, it will also stop you from um, walking or running. Um, hopefully it's not an emergency during those 10 minutes walk, but uh, I guess 10 minutes is not um, long enough, but maybe if you have like 45 minutes, 45 minutes um, activity, then that's it. Probably you may need to turn on your um, calling feature just in case there's an emergency. But for me, the 10 minutes and 20 minutes um, run walk will be safe. Hopefully nothing happens in between that. But, uh, but then again, it's, it's still up to you. If you think that there will be some uh, emergency calls that may need to happen, then it's all right. You can um, turn it on. But for me personally, I still divert. Okay, so saving the best for last, tip number 10, go over time. So what do I mean go over time? I'm going to show you a clip, the actual clip of my walk yesterday. So have a look. It's already on the 20 minute mark for my four energy. But what did I do? I, I didn't stop. I didn't stop. I keep continuing even beyond going over time, the energy time, which is 20 minutes for four energy. And did you notice the GST still keeps coming up after the 30 second mark? So in short, my tip here is do not exactly stop on your uh, recommended or allotted time. Say if you have two energy, you have 10, 10 minutes, right? Do not stop exactly at 10 minutes. Go beyond. Usually I go beyond one minute before I stop in the app. So that's one of the biggest tips that I can leave you on this video. I hope you're learning. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Let me know what else you want me to cover. For those who are still um, looking for um, activation code, sometimes I reply to you on the comment section. Sometimes I post in our other social media accounts. So please follow my other um, accounts as well. So that's it, guys. That's a short um, tips and tricks that I can share to you based on my own experience. Until next time, let's go and walk.